Shalom, shalom. Kom ya sala, kolom la ya wa ba sim ya wa sai ba ha sim ka ko dash. Ya ba ana so our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwath that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, this is an article touching on the national debt, man. This shit is retarded. <laughs> it says... Uh, Two hundred and thirteen billion one hundred and eighty two million seven hundred and forty three thousand piled onto the U.S. national debt in just twenty three days. God damn. As former IMF chief econ economist says, he's extremely worried about borrowing binge. And you know what this is leading up to, man. <laughs> this much in twenty three days, bro. Bro, let's just read some of it. A former International Monetary Fund chief eco economist is sounding the alarm about the U.S. government's insatiable thirst for debt. New data from the U.S. Treasury Department shows that the national debt rose from $34.155 trillion on February 1st. Now check it out. 23, 23 days later. 34 trillion 368 trillion 34 trillion 368 okay but that man I, that's 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 crazy look at this shit man how you 213 billion dollars in 23 days what's it gonna be in the next 23 days man it says that's an increase of over 213 billion in about three weeks the country's swelling national debt has caught the attention of ex-IMF chief economist Olivier Blankard. In a video conference call with members of the UK's House of Lords Economic Affairs Committee, Blankard reportedly says he's concerned about the U.S. government's growing primary deficits on the total deficit this year minus interest rates. He says, in the U.S., I'm very worried because the primary deficits are very large and there's absolutely no attempt to decrease them in any way, shape, or form. And they're not going to try and do it. Why? Because, you know, let me grab a quick scripture. This thing is about to go into that MOTB. <laughs> hey, they're going to crash the system themselves, man. This is what's pretty much going on. They're they about to crash this shit. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, um, that's a lot, can't remember, 2 Corinthians 11, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, they're, they're forcing this, um, this crash, man. There's no way you can have people, supposedly, you got top lawyers that went to the top schools, Harvard, Princeton, Cambridge, all these different places that these people go to the school and they, they go and they, you know, they, they have the, the, you know, they're supposedly the smartest people. I would say they're supposedly the, the wise people of the earth. Right. How, but to be in this kind of debt showed you that these people don't know what the fuck they are doing. They're not as smart as they're saying they are. They're not as smart as they showing you, you, you know, trying to portray that they are. With the PhD on the end of the name, you know, the BA, the, um, the, you know, doctorates in this and, you know, all this other shit. Man, these people dumb as hell. <laughs> Straight up, man. Let me see. Uh, it's another, uh, let me see. Salakia, man. Ain't no way. Hell, a, a kid working at McDonald's for his first job is budgeting his money better than that. God damn, bro. His parents done taught him, away. Well, hey, you know, you can have a little luxury, but you put away, you know, um... 25, 40% or whatever amount of your check. Put it into a bank account. You want a car, right? We're going to show you how to budget your money. You don't spend it all at one time. These people, man, are stupid as hell, bro. But you know what, though? I guess when they're dealing with other people's money, it don't matter to them because it's not really their money. They don't give a shit. Man, they, the, the, the U.S. wastes money on so much shit. Shit is silly as hell, man. I'm trying to think how that's word, worded. Yeah, man. Esau threw, though. Uh, 
I'm not, I'm not seeing what I want here. Oh yeah, Jeremiah 49 and 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? <laughs> and that's pretty much what it is. See, the Lord putting them on spot, man. And they sloppy with it. They, and they used to be so much better at, um, you know, being criminals, man. But they're just silly as hell. But overall, they're, they're pushing this crisis, man. Because the other countries are... You got bricks going on, you know, with, um, you know, uh, all these other nations trying to get rid of the dollar and their trading and all this other stuff in their own um, currency. Then at the same time, too, you got China. They're already ahead of the game when it comes to the, 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 the chipping process, you know, or the watching people process. You know what I'm saying? The damn cameras everywhere that I'm all seeing over my my, you know, over the people. They're all subjects of mine. They're all slaves. So America is so behind on that. They, they can't do nothing but push a, 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 a orchestrated crash. And then when they reset shit and turn the lights back on, so to speak, it's going to be all about, OK, now we got a new system and this is the way things are going to be done now. That's why, you know, I just brought up that scripture. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. This man is capable of anything, but he's losing in the economic race, so to speak. He's losing even in the um the area of, of, of um you know, nuclear or or war shit i would say these other countries done surpass america on every level man economics the um the uh the military um you know um the 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 you know the chipping shit the the computing shit see america's behind so they'll do anything to you know the so-called white man he's gonna try and stay on top man he'll crash this whole shit and you'll wake up tomorrow that thirty thousand dollars you might have saved up that ten thousand or that five thousand, even your three hundred or two hundred dollars that you may have had in your bank account, that shit is gone. Everybody's scrambling. This motherfucking car line for miles, miles and miles at an ATM machine, trying to see if they can get their funds out. The banks have closed. They need riot police and shit, man. I'm telling you, man. These people, they 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 doing this um on purpose. It says, according to Blankert, the record level debt in the United States could be the catalyst, the catalyst that triggers the next global financial crisis. I don't see a big crisis coming again, except for the U.S., where at some point it will happen, whether it's in five years, 10 years. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen for sure. And they're going to push it to happen. As we know, if they struggle in the U.S., then this has impl implications for the rest of the world. See? And that's what, you know, and that's pretty much what's holding up the new world reset or their new world order. America is holding up the process pretty much overall with this constitution, your, your amendments and your, and, and, and all this other shit, your, your, your rights. No, they're getting rid of all that shit. Once lights turn back on and reset is done, you're, you already don't have no rights, really. They just making it seem as if you got these constitutional rights. They break up, they breaking your damn rights every day. Average police officer pulling you over, he he he's he's as soon as he gets to your window, he's basically uh fucking over your constitutional rights immediately. And then you can say that, hey, well I have constitutional rights. They gonna, sh I don't give a fuck about that. Show me your license and registration and this 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 and this, or I'm dragging your ass out of the car. If the, if you don't get out, I'm breaking your window. Oh, you locking the doors? I'm breaking your window. I'm gonna drag your ass out. Then they're gonna put them 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 down. They might. If they don't shoot your ass first, they might electrocute your ass first with that that mini electrocution gun. You know what I'm talking about. Whoop your ass real quick. <laughs> right, this happening on a day to day basis. These police officers have turned into complete damn um, gang members, man. So your rights are being threatened. Every, nobody has them rights like that, man. So don't don't get it twisted. He says, um. Blankert is not the only one who thinks a big crisis is coming for the United States. In November, former Congressman Ron Paul called the attention of U.S. lawmakers to address the government's ballooning debt burden. How could you, bro, $213 billion in 23 days? God damn. What are you doing? And then you got, you sending money to Ukraine, you sending money to Israel, you, 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 you. But you know what, though? It's a beautiful thing. This is something that we pray for all the time. So we we have to applaud that. 
Kohaloyim la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Rakakwadash, man. And I'm not going to keep this long. It was just a quick lesson before camp. But he says, we are more than $33 trillion in debt. Golly, bro. With interest payments on that debt dwarfing all other government spending. A crash is coming. There is no time for more business as usual. And that's what's popping. Let's get a couple of these comments and I'll grab one more, man, and, and get out of here. See, this person says he's doing it on purpose. How do you destroy a great country like America? Exactly what Biden is doing. Hell, who needs enemies with the piece of shit in office, see? And these people starting to see. And there's a lot of um, separation and division in this country. According to Matthew 12 and 25, it says a house cannot stand or, you know, um, a nation cannot stand if they're divided. Destruction comes to a, to a place like that, even in your household. Scripture talks about that. Can two walk together unless they be agreed? You got the damn red states against the blue states, you know, your left, your right, whatever you want to call it. None of them can get along. They can't even sit down and have a conversation. They, they, they can't even listen to one another. They can't agree to disagree. They ready to blow each other down, you know, blow each other away. Person says our government is our worst enemy. This person says agree. This person says, I'm sorry, but this is both parties fault. And it is. This person says, and Joe thinks more borrowed money being sent out of this country is, is the solution. Why should this country be the world's piggy bank for wars? Hey. Yeah. It shocks me away how many people don't take this seriously. Sure, we've gotten away with this for decades, but the problem really hadn't hadn't got parabolic until the GFC and COVID. Yeah, I mean, it's all orchestrated. This person says, sound like to me, people would prefer to blame things on the left versus right and do not notice the, the same people have been in Congress the entirety of 23 years. It took to achieve 33, 34 trillion in debt. And that's right. And I was looking at this one guy too, a video last night. I may still have it in my history, but he had a, you know, a damn Yehuda name, but he looked like a so-called white guy. I might be wrong, but he was talking about all these people that's in Congress, how they all have dual citizenship with Israel. All these people he named, he had a long ass lump, like damn straight. You know, I, you know, I, I get, you know, they down with Israel. But all these people that's in Congress that's running your country basically right now, they have dual citizenship with Israel and they can go to Israel and live after they tear this bitch up. <laughs> anyway, though, man, I love it, though. And we're not tripping on it, man. We applaud it. We applaud it. We applaud it. And let me just grab a scripture to show you why as to why we applaud it. Because, hey, these people are our enemies. We don't give a shit about this place. We pray that it happens even more quicker. Instead of $213 billion in, 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 in the next 23 days, we I pray that it's fucking an extra $10 trillion. <laughs> So you can go ahead and get, get this place uh, done away with, man. Ecclesiasticus 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing, man. You're living in a time period where you get to see the so-called white race fall and, 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 and just looking crazy out here. Struggling. You know, they you know, they doing bad when they women out here complaining on TikTok about how they got to work three jobs. They even got three, four baby daddies. There was a time in this country, man, when you wouldn't have never thought that America would be like that. Where even the so-called white woman is out working four jobs? Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, I love it, though. And, and so with that, all praises to y'all. about Shimmy outside, man? This is a beautiful thing. This shit is retarded, bro. I'm looking at this shit like in 23 days? 23 days? 213,182,000,000. I would just like to have the 743,000 on the end. Even the 43,000 on the end. The 3,000 on the end. Like, God damn, man. Yeah, this place is through. And this is a dope picture, too. This picture right here. Whoever put this 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 picture together, 
That that right there, it, it, it says it all. They say a picture of, uh, uh, is a thousand words. That, that it's being swept away. Being swept away. They should have that down on um, Mount Rushmore to go along with this shit. This place is through, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.